Today I have the pleasure of speaking with John Hikeaway from Storm Crow. How are you today? Good, Tracy. How are you? Thank you so much for fitting us into your schedule and doing an interview about your latest research report, which was done on UCOR. Yep. It was, a, it was an interesting little piece of work, especially looking forward to seeing how the company does with its, uh, with its rollout of Rapid SX. Well, let's start there, shall we? Uh, talk to us about Rapid SX and what, you know, give us some of the highlights of this research report. Of course, don't give anything away. We want them to go to your website to access the research report. We want them to actually read it, correct? We, we, can, we can definitely try doing that. That's not a bad thing. Um, yeah, so Rapid SX is a technology that was developed by IMC, and IMC was acquired by UCOR a few years ago. It is a a derivation of conventional solvent extraction for the separation of rare earths. So the idea is it's a novel technology. It provides some significant benefits, including a reduction in capital cost, a very significant reduction in capital cost, a meaningful reduction in op cost, and, and just generally a faster throughput in a smaller plant, which all of which is good when you're, when you're trying to build something new for a separation of rare earths. But it relies on the same chemicals and the same sort of technology that conventional SX does. So the idea is a buyer of rare earths isn't going to be put off by having to buy a product from a company they've never heard of made using a technology they don't understand with failure modes that they don't really, they're not really familiar with. And so this will produce cheaper rare earths, it'll produce them faster. But it'll it'll produce rare earths that are skewed with contaminants and and tend to to drift away from spec in the same way that they're familiar with from Chinese suppliers or or other suppliers worldwide, including one of us. Well, there's a number of people out there in the race for rare earth production that are uh, espousing their wonderful uh, cutting edge technology. And of course, anyone out there, if you don't know John Hikeaway, trust me, he does his due diligence. So, so basically what you're saying, I'm gonna dumb it down for everyone out there an investor Intel land, you have done your due diligence and it's passing your test. Is that correct? It's not only passing my scrutiny, Tracy, but it's also passed the scrutiny of, of some very, very good uh, third party examiners hired to look at the technology specifically for outside investors. And they're very pleased with what they've seen as well. So I think the valuation that you then place on UCOR is substantially higher than where it is right now. And that's what you talk people through in this research report, which they can access on your website. Is that correct? Correct. And, and the valuation is really based on, uh, on some speculation on my part, but it's, it's in agreement with what the company would consider a reasonable starting point for their technology and for their plans. In other words, they're not coming into this with the old Molly Corp approach. Um, back in 2010, 2011, they're going to produce 40,000 tons and take over the world. This is a technology that's going to be rolled out slowly, carefully, start with 5,000 tons of production. It could be done from contract material, contract feedstock bought in rather than having to open a mine specifically for this. They'll worry about bringing mine production online when there's sufficient demand for what they're doing to justify opening a mine. And so for those of you out there that may or may not be familiar with UCOR, um, one thing I love about a very good research report, of course, you're simply one of the best in the industry, is that the text is, 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 is vital for understanding the story. Can you talk to us about some of the competitive highlights that UCOR offers investors? Well, for starters, they've got very, very good support from the Alaskan government. They're starting to garner significant support from industry. We're starting to see that with some of the press releases that have come out recently um, around, for example, Tissom Group. Um, we're looking at a technology on the rare earth separation side that is probably three times as efficient as conventional SX. And that's according to a third party analysis done by an expert in the space. We're looking at a significant cost reduction in terms of OPEX. Not enough in this rapid SX technology that if you were a Chinese rare earth separator, you'd want to take all your equipment, throw it in the street and replace it with this. 
But if you're somebody that's building a new plant, having to raise one third the capital, perhaps, um, to go out and, and, and put a plant together, that's very nice in terms of limiting your dilution, as opposed to building a conventional SX plant. And beyond that, I would highlight, I think, the management team at present. Um, Pat Ryan and the, and the group that he's assembled are some of the most pragmatic and some of the most dedicated people I've run across in the space. Well, John, thank you so much for giving us some of the details of your latest research report on UCOR. And of course, for anyone out there that wants more information, go to stormcrow.ca. And John, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Tracy.